All right, yeah! Thank God for fantasy football. I'm Buster Brown, and the show, well, it's called Redemption Rehab. Today, we're talking about the rookie tight ends coming into the NFL in the 2023 NFL season. This is one of our four NFL Draft preview shows we're gonna, where we take a look at every rookie that's going to impact fantasy football this season and for years to come. We're going to show you highlights, we're going to show you statistics, and we're going to tell you where they're going to go in your Dynasty rookie drafts and where they're going to go in your redraft leagues later this year. So buckle up, get out your popcorn, and let's head over to the chalkboard and check out the facts. Okay, on the screen behind me is one of our go-to websites, DraftTech.com. When you get a chance, you got to check them out. And the number one tight end ranked on DraftTech is this guy, Michael Meyer out of Notre Dame. He's their 22nd ranked overall player in this year's draft. He's 6'4", 240-pound junior. Let's go over and look at his highlights while we talk about his stats. Michael Meyer out of Notre Dame is 6'4", 240-pound junior ranked number 22 overall in the middle of March on drafttech.com he played three years at Notre Dame he was the John Mackey Award semifinalist and that goes to the nation's best tight end the best tight end award this year was run by a kid out of Georgia named Brock Byers he wasn't available to come out in the draft this year but keep an eye on him for next year but Michael Myers was a formidable opponent for Notre Dame all year long at tight end. In three years, Meyer had 180 receptions for 2,099 yards. He had an 11.7 yard average with a whopping 18 TDs in three years. That's a 60 reception average per year for 700 yards per year and six TD average per year. He's very consistent over his college career. Draft Tech thinks Michael Myers is their best prospect prior to the NFL draft. He's a possible first round pick in your rookie dynasty drafts. His average ADP is around pick 11 and he's being drafted in all your redraft leagues later in your draft. If you get a chance to get this guy in your dynasty leagues, he's gonna go in the first round, probably a top 12 pick. And if you get a chance, he's possibly, depending upon who drafts him in the NFL Draft, this is our NFL Draft preview show, so he hasn't been drafted. It's the middle of March, and Michael Myers is the top prospect at this point. We'll see where he gets drafted and where he goes in your uh, redraft leagues later in August. He's definitely going to get drafted towards the end of your draft, so keep an eye out for Michael Myers. Let's take a look at some of these other guys. Okay, the next guy we want to take a look at after Michael Meyer out of Notre Dame is this guy right here, Luke Musgrave out of Oregon. He's he's the 36th ranked player on DraftTech.com overall. He's 6'6", 252-pound redshirt junior, so he's played for a few years, but he doesn't have the resume of some of these other guys. Let's take a look at his highlights and some of his stats. Luke Musgrave out of Oregon State, 6'6", 252 pound red shirt junior ranked number 36 overall by draft tech in march of 2023 he only played in two games in 2023 however his uncle bill musgrave is the current offensive coordinator for the denver broncos and he played in the nfl for eight years so he has some nfl pedigree with his uncle out of denver who's the offensive coordinator. Keep that in mind. Luke Musgrave played four years at Oregon State. He only had 47 receptions for 633 yards with a 13.5 yard average with only two TDs. He didn't exactly tear it up, but Draft Tech likes him and there's potential. His average draft position in your rookie Dynasty League drafts is number 36. So he's like a third, possibly fourth round going into the fourth round. And he's not exactly being drafted at this point in any of your redraft leagues. But it depends on who they who drafts him in the NFL draft coming up April 27th through the 29th and a month from now. 
Luke Musgrave's got some NFL pedigree because of his uncle. Let's see where he goes. Draft Tech likes him. That's why we're mentioning him. I really like this next guy. Let's take a look at Dalton Kincaid out of Utah. Dalton Kincaid out of Utah is 6'4", 242 pounds. He's ranked number 41 overall on Draft Tech, and he, kind of, he moved up 24 spots after the Combine, NFL Combine, earlier this year. Dalton Kincaid had a pretty good career in five years in college. He played his first two years at San Diego State, where he had 55 career total games with 24 starts to San Diego. In 2022, he was a John Mackey finalist. He was a Pac-12 all-conference first-team player also. He kind of reminds me of Zach Ertz. In three years at, at Utah after leaving San Diego, he had 106 receptions for 1,400 yards with a 13.2-yard average with 16 TDs. In two seasons with Utah after playing at San Diego State, where he racked up another 19 touchdowns. His rookie average draft position in your dynasty leagues is around number 30. So if you're going to go into the dynasty leagues, you better keep an eye on who drafts Dalton Kincaid out of Utah. Because if he goes to the right team, that ADT, ADP from 30 could move up into the 20s. Let's take a look at some other guys we really like this year coming into the NFL draft in 2023 at tight end. Okay, Draft Pack really likes this guy over here at number four, Darnell Washington out of Georgia. 6'6, 265, junior out of Georgia. He's 52 ranked overall player for Draft Tech. Let's take a look at some of his highlights and some of his stats that makes him so important. Darnell Washington started 14 of 15 games in 2022 for Georgia, but he played behind the John Mackey Award winner Brock Bowers on the same team while winning two national championships. What made this guy so good? Well, he's 6'6", 265 pounds, and it was like having another tackle on the field. It helps in the running game. That's what makes him so important in the NFL. He had a 4.65 speed in the 40-yard dash at the NFL Combine, so there's potential there. But he only had one catch against Ohio State in the playoffs, and only had one catch in the championship game. In his three years at Georgia, Darnell Washington only had 45 receptions for 774 yards with a 17.2-yard average with three TDs. Like I said, he didn't exactly tear it up on the field. What he did well was block in the running game. So that's what's gonna add to his draft value. And that's why Draft Tech likes him, but he's gonna be a touchdown dependent player in fantasy football. So his average draft position in your dynasty leagues is gonna be around position 25. So he may fall into the second or third round, depending upon who drafts him. And in your redraft leagues, depending upon who he drafts him, probably I would look to pick him up on the waiver wire after the season starts, because like I said, he blocks, and that's why he's gonna get drafted. But he can catch the ball. If you saw his combine workout, he was impressive. Very impressive. So he is going to get drafted, and you should keep an eye on him, but I'd be picking him up on your waiver wire later in the year. Let's take out this last guy here, Sam Laporta out of Iowa. Sam Laporta is 6'3", 245-pound senior, so he's been around a while at Iowa in the Big Ten, and he's ranked number 84 overall in the middle of March on draft tech. Let's take a look at some of his highlights and his stats. Sam Laporta... Four years at Iowa, 6'3", 245-pound senior. Iowa has put out some great tight ends over the years. They put out George Kittle. They put out TJ Hawkinson, arguably top five tight ends in the 2023 NFL fantasy football season. So Sam Laporta comes from some high pedigree. Sam Laporta ranked 14th overall in receiving at Iowa among all receivers. So he has skills. Among the tight ends, like Kittle and Hawkinson, he ranks first in total receptions and second in total yards. 
In 2021, he led all Big Ten tight ends in receptions with 53. He led all Big Ten tight ends in yards with 670. He led all Big Ten times in yards after catch, 299. And he led all Big Ten tight ends in 2021 with yards after contact with 206. And his yards per average catch was 18. He was a 2022 John Mackey Award finalist. He was a team captain. He was first team all Big Ten tight end among the coaches in media. In four years at Iowa, Sam Laporta had 153 completions for 1,786 yards with 11.7 yard average, but he only had five TDs. Not a lot of production in the red zone. However, between the 20s, he was as productive as any tight end in college. His average draft position in your rookie dynasty league drafts is gonna be around pick 34. And he's dependent upon who drafts him, in the NFL draft coming up in a month, he's most likely going to be a waiver wire pickup for me later in the year, and we'll see how things go for Sam Laporta. Okay, my sleeper pick that I like for this year is this guy, Zach Koontz out of Old Dominion. 6'7", 251 pound redshirt junior, meaning he played like five years in college. He's their 147th ranked overall player on Draft Tech. And let me show you why I like him while you watch the highlights. Zach Kuntz, a 6'7", 251 redshirt junior. He started his career at Penn State where he played three years before he went to Old Dominion for two years. In 2021, he was first team All-Conference USA where he was second in the country at tight end with 73 receptions. In 2022, he played in only five games before ending his season with an injury. He only had 12 catches for 144 yards and two TDs. But what I like about this guy is he went to the combine, he competed in every, every drill, and they came away saying this guy was a 10 in the, what they call the RAS score, relative athletic score. That means this guy performed well at everything, and he's an all-around athlete, and the NFL scouts loved him. So he's going to get taken. Uh, he could possibly get taken in some of your dynasty drafts, probably towards the end. He's not going to get drafted in any of your redraft leagues. But keep an eye out for Zach Kuntz and who drafts him because this kid may make an impact in 2023. Well, that's it for our NFL preview show for tight ends. I want to thank you for watching. I'm Buster Brown. The show is called Redemption Rehab. Good luck. Good luck.